Okay, here's an idea for a simple magnetic chuck. Uh, that's a transformer that I took apart and I reversed the E laminations in there so they're all facing the same way, which gives a flat surface and an open magnetic path. Uh, and that's uh, hooked up to the 120 volt input of uh, it's about a 20 watt uh, transformer. Uh, so I'll crank this up to let's see let's try about let's put it just about 12 volts so you could use a battery that's only about six watts in the windings It's powerful enough to lift that whole vise and everything up. And you can take it off that way, of course. But basically works. And of course, you may take the voltage off of it and totally loose. You might also be able to use the magnets inside of an old Bernoulli drive, which is what this is here. Two very powerful magnets with the space in between there, a piece of plain steel, and the outside parts are magnets. Might not be powerful enough for milling, but it shows what you might be able to do with a magnet. Probably get some powerful neodymium magnets and maybe use them, um, and maybe use the mechanism inside of one of those magnetic bases and be able to move the magnet away and on so you can release more easily. But I think the magnetic chuck with electromagnet may have more possibilities. That's very easy to remove there. Crank it up to 12 volts. Get about 6 watts in the winding. <coughs> and that's very hard to move. Probably just by having it wedged on something means it can't move around. It's certainly not going to come up and just put something on the edges to lock it in place. Should work fine for milling, drilling, anything like that. Turn off the juice and it's easy to remove. I don't know how to work on end like that, but we'll see. Pretty strong. Probably get the best bet in between the the two poles like that. The more of the magnetic path you can shunt, the more powerful it's going to be. And you could use multiple smaller transformers to get more power, or just a, a bigger transformer might really do it. And so that's just a cheap old transformer that I have a whole bunch of, that surplus. A little tough taking it apart, uh, you know, because it is kind of lacquered. But once I got it started to get it loose, then I was able to get the laminations apart able to save the primary and it was not really hard to work with put it back together got most of them back in there now I'm only using half of the winding right now I'm just using the primary the uh, secondary is actually a, like a 12 volt winding so uh, 
it would take a much lower voltage and higher current for that. Uh, best way is really to wind one big winding, so it should be able to get twice the pull, twice the magnetic field from putting twice the uh, ampere turns through the core there. So anyway, that should be a simple way to make a magnetic uh, chuck. So hopefully this helps out.